Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I'm going to be taking uh, uh, my 9900K out of this my main system to lap or sand. Uh, basic rundown of the system is the Intel 9900K on the Z390 Tachi Ultimate from ASRock, uh, and it's being cooled by the Corsair H100i Pro, which unfortunately liquid temperatures are increasing. Uh, it's been a while since I first built this system, and I want to play, you know, fresh thermal paste, but I also want to get that IHS as flat as possible. It may only provide a one to two degree difference, but we're going to see what it does. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and then see what the results are at the end. But even just mining, the CPU is getting hot. The liquid temperature is getting hot because the airflow, um, I'm not going to move these fans until after we see the results of lapping the IHS or sanding the IHS on the CPU. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're all done. Um, I even went ahead and lapped the cold plate down a little bit. Not too much, um, but just enough. Uh, cleaned it up, 
here's what the CPU looks like. If I could get it to not glare in your eyes. But it's looking pretty good. I'll have a close up picture. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the system cleaned up a little bit. And uh, like I said, I don't wanna change too many variables. These fans I wanna have in um, pull instead of push because I took the other three from here. Yeah, you can actually see the, the dust outline. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the CPU installed. Uh, get some fresh uh, crow knot and do my testing over the next couple weeks so when you catch up with me in this video it's going to be a, uh, quite a few days that have passed uh, to really finalize my results and data so let's go ahead and get everything back together All right, guys so there were the graphs as you can see we've uh, increased or, or decreased our temperatures anywhere from one to two degrees C uh, but most importantly for me it's the liquid temperatures we were able to reduce the liquid temperatures by a significant amount and especially now that I don't have two GPUs in one case uh, kind of heat soak in the radiator I should have increased my overall thermal limits and be able to push this uh, CPU a little bit further. Whether or not it's worth it, it's gonna be up to you because you are gonna have to spend some time and you wanna be extra careful uh, not to break anything or uh, you know pop off one of the SMDs on the bottom of the, uh, the CPU as you're, you're sanding. Basically, you're gonna start off with a low grit sandpaper, maybe 200, 400, just to get that rough, that, you know, that nickel plating off and then step it up, you know, 400, uh, 600, 800, uh, 1,000, 1,200 if you want. And just make sure that it's level, uh, as, as level as possible, as flat as possible, and exposing that, that copper. And then make sure that your cold plate on your AIO or heat sink or whatever it is, is as flat as well as possible. Because if it's concave or convex or whatever, it depends. Uh, then you're not going to get significant mounting pressure as well between the two. So for me, it did uh, it did good. It, per it showed me a performance gain that I am happy with. But for many others, uh, uh, you know, 0.5, one degree, two degrees isn't really worth the trouble. But go ahead and draw your own conclusions. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, please hit the like button on the way out. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and subscribe for more content like this. We'll catch you in the next one.